So welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. After learning the distributed peer-to-peer -peer network, now we will learn how mining work. So this will be a two-part video. In this two video, we will find out exactly what the mining is all about, the competition, and why so many dedicated resources are allocated for mining blockchain, especially proof-of-work based blockchain like Bitcoin blockchain. So let's have a look. Here we have one of the block from blockchain and it has some couple of fill. It has block number at the top, then some data. Also we have previous hash that represent the hash of the previous block. And finally we have the hash fill that represent the current block. So how do we get the hash value? We take block number, data and previous hash. After that we put all of them into a hashing algorithm that produces a hash. Let's say we got this hash. Is it that simple to generate a hash? You just take block number, data and previous hash, then put all of them into a hashing algorithm? If it is that simple then what the mining is all about? Why there are thousands of mining rigs or nodes in the network? Why lots of computation power? You must be aware about power consumption from mining, why this is all happening and what's the competition that all miners are in, if this is all just a race to mine a block. Well, this is not that simple as that. Actually, there is another fill in the block. Since you have basic knowledge about block already, it's time to reveal that new field in the block. And that fill is none other than nonce. Nonce stands for number used only once and this fill is what the mining is all about. Now to understand about nonce, let's see what determine the hash. We will take block number, nonce, data and previous hash into the hashing algorithm which generate the hash based on these four inputs. All of a sudden now what nonce gives us is extra control or extra flexibility. Now we can vary hash value by changing nonce. We don't have to change the block number. Oh actually we can change the block number. Block number is the block number. We can change it. Similarly we can change the previous hash as it links the current block to the previous block and of course we can change the data too. If we do so it will be tampering of the data which we are preventing from. Our purpose is to make blockchain immutable and prevent from tampering. Now if you notice here, even if you just increment the nonce by 1, there is drastic change in hash. Oh you guess it right, it is because of avalanche effect, we already discussed it if you remember. This is an important and interesting feature of blockchain. Ok so this is how nonce work and in this part we learn about nonce, which is important before we go into mining. You can also try this on your own, visit this website andersbrownwood.com. So in the next part, we will learn about mining and what the miners are doing. So I hope you are enjoying the course. See you in the next video.